Hey everyone, it's Cassie and I'm here today with Club La La Land Crafts and today I get to share with you what is inside the September 2018 Club Kit. Now as the weather starts changing and getting a little bit cooler, we tend to spend more time inside, maybe doing a little bit of baking, and that is what this month's Club Kit is all about. So our first stamp set is Made with Love Marcy. Isn't she adorable with her little apron? And the sentiments are, from my kitchen, homemade, and with love. So these would be perfect to go with a plate of cookies or any other baked goodies. And if you're not into baking, that's fine. Just think of how fun it would be to add homemade with love on the back of your cards. It adds a great special touch. Our next stamp set is this adorable bear stamp set. And it's called Berry Special. And the sentiments are sending bear hugs. You are very special to me. You're the sweetest and you're my jam. So this would be great for so many different occasions. And we have a little teddy bear with a sandwich and one with a spoon and we have a bear with a jar so these are really fun and our dies this month are this really fun doily die I love the border dies they are so much fun it's a nice good length we also have this doily it's a half a doily if you cut two of them and put them side to side they will form a full doily so this is really fun accent and then this last one is really fun. We have a canning jar. Now not only do you get the canning jar, you also get the lid and a fabric cover. So it can be like this bear up here, the decorative jar cover. So that's really fun. You can do so many fun things with those. This is what they look like when they are cut out. So we have our border die here, our doily, and our jar, and the different lids. This is what it looks like when you layer the fabric lid, and this is what it looks like when you layer the regular lid. If you're interested in getting this club kit, there's a link in the description below for Club La La Land Crafts. It is a club kit, and it is $39.99 a month plus shipping, and you will get all these stamps and dies mailed to your house. You will also get exclusive tutorials for this kit that will get you started. Now the deadline to get this kit is September 17th, so it's coming up really fast. So make sure you click on that link below and sign up right away so that you can make sure you get this kit because it's a really fun one. I really like this kit. But before you go, let's do a little bit of coloring. I'm gonna clear this off and I will be with you in a minute. I stamped the bear with the jar on some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. I wanted to do a little black bear, so I chose some of my warm grays. You want a good variety between your darkest and your lightest colors, so you can get some good contrast. We're going to start by marking in our shadows with our lightest color that we're using for the body, which is a W4. So I'm going underneath things where, where the shadows would fall. I'm going to move now to my second darkest color, which is a W8. When I'm working in larger areas, I do like to go over them twice. So the first time through I will go with my second darkest color, the second time through I will go in with a darker color. So now I'm moving to my W6 and just kind of working my way into my lightest areas. This first time through I'm not really worrying too much about blending, more about just getting some color on the page. Now we're going to go in with the very darkest color which is a W10 and go in with our shadows where we've already marked them out. Then we'll work our way back to the W4. This time through I am worrying about how I'm blending from my darker colors to my lighter colors. So each layer I'm making sure to go over some of the darker area with the color I'm currently working on just to kind of blend the colors through. If you go out of the lines like I did, it's an easy fix. Just grab your colorless blender and push the color back into the lines. The colorless blender doesn't really blend your color as much as remove or move the color. So it's a great way to fix mistakes. So now we're going to repeat the same process with the head and the ears. We're going with our W4, W8, W6, W4, and then starting again with the W10 and working our way back to the W4.
his muzzle, we're still going to work in the warm grays, but we're going to go with the lighter colors. Doing a base coat with the W1, adding in my shadows with the W4, and then working my way back to the W1. Then because I lost a lot of the contrast when I did that, I went back in with the W4 to paint back in those shadows. I decided to fill my jar full of honey, but you could easily fill the jar full of anything you want, from jam to fireflies or buttons or, I mean, the sky's the limit of what you want to put in his little jar. Just like the muzzle, we're going to fill in the entire jar with the YR30, which is our lightest color. I did leave a white highlight right around the entire edge of the jar, because oftentimes in glass jars you do get that bright highlight around the edges. I'm going in with my shadow color, which is an E99, which may seem like a weird shadow color for yellow, but it does give your honey a very golden color. I'm again leaving in those bright highlights right around the edge of the jar to show that the glass has some thickness to it. And then I'll work my way back through my colors to my YR30. We're going to move on to the cover for the jar. I decided to go with some yellow greens, but I also grabbed a dark blue for my darkest shadows. This will give a lot of dimension and depth to the color. So I'm starting with my YG67 and just figuring out where I want my shadows, looking at the ruffles and adding my shadows where the dips in the ruffles would be, and defining the top of the jar, and just kind of working my way through where my shadows will be. If this makes you a little bit nervous, you can do the same thing we did with the bear's body and start with the lightest green to mark in your shadows. I just decided to jump right into my shadows this time. But it really doesn't matter which way you do it, whichever way is more comfortable for you. So I'm just gonna work my way through to my lightest color. Now we're going to jump in with that dark blue to add in our deepest shadows. You don't want to add a whole ton of the blue because you don't want to change the color of the jar too much, but just a little bit in the deepest shadows and it will give you a lot of dimension. And work your way back through your colors, blending out to your lightest color. Sometimes when you blend through to your lighter colors, you end up losing a lot of the contrast in your darkest colors. If that happens, just go ahead and go back in with one of your darker colors and bring that shadow back up to the darker color. To finish them up, I'm going to go in with my white gel pen to add in some of the highlights and details. So we'll add some highlights to the glass jar, also to his eyes and across the top of his nose. I also wanted to add some polka dots to the green fabric on the jar just for a little fun texture. And here he is on the finished card. Isn't he adorable? If you like the stamps and dies you've seen me use today in this video, be sure to join Club Lala Land Crafts. There's a link in the description below. For more information on these cards, you can go to my blog and that link is also in the description below. Keep in mind that if you want to get this kit as your first kit, you need to sign up for the club by September 17th. That's the cutoff date. If you sign up after that, your first kit will be the next month's kit. Here's a second card that I made using this month's club kit. This time two little bears sitting on a little jam jar. One of the benefits of being a member of Club La La Land Crafts is you do get exclusive tutorials each month. So if you're interested in knowing how I made this card with this little jam jar, be sure to join the club because I'll be sharing how I made it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.